So you first arrived in Pakistan in February this year. Last February, yes. Yeah, so Six it's months been ago. not that long for you now. No, no. Yeah. I moved in the first steps and then I found uh, just one month after arriving, uh, uh, we had the problem of lockdown with the exactly. COVID. So I couldn't move around Pakistan as much as I would like. Exactly. So how has it been for you now? I mean, have you been mainly stuck to the embassy or have you been able to go to meetings and see people during this time here? Meetings were not as much as before, mm. but I had the time to study, which was very important. I read a lot about Pakistan, history, right. tradition, politics, and uh, we are deeply reorganizing the embassy. As you know, since 10 years, we need to build a, a new embassy and we okay. finish it. I personally follow the projects. Oh, that's I'm wonderful. sure we will have a, a great building soon. Yeah, so then you found something to do during these times, definitely. Yes, <laughs> that's definitely. Great. So, um, before you came here, what, what did you think about Pakistan as a country? Did you know much? Like, what were your expectations like? No, I, I worked a lot with Pakistanis in the past, and I, I must say that I asked to come to Pakistan. Oh, really? Is it? It's a country who always attracted me intellectually, politically, really? and uh, for its uh, traditions, history, and people. Oh, wow. That's why. I was not asked to come here, I asked to come here. Oh, that's amazing. And you know, the previous Italian ambassador, um, Mr. Stefano Pontecorvo, he was very popular here because he was, you know, um, he was very fond of Pakistan like you. Did you actually get a chance to meet him before you came here? I know Stefano Pontecorvo from uh, 25 years. Oh, we are good it? friends. Oh, so. great. <laughs> so he must have told you a lot of nice things about Pakistan. Yes, we have well. a lot in common, that's why he, our, it's uh, the same qualities that uh, convinced my ministry to send me here. Oh, that's wonderful. Great. So, um, what was your impression of Islamabad as a city when you came here? It's the capital of a huge country. Mm. It's the fifth country in the world for population. So, you can feel that there is a, a lot of energy 